Bertelsmann Stiftung CEO and Chairman Art de Goys has emerged as a proponent of TTIP. The GED team's own Dr. Uli Schulf caught up with him at Bertelsmann headquarters in Gütersloh to discuss the potential he sees in the project. Thank you very much, Mr. de Goys, for taking the time and sharing your ideas on this topic. The Global Economic Dynamics team of the Bertelsmann Foundation has deeply analyzed economic effects and consequences of a potential transatlantic trade and investment partnership. Why does the Bertelsmann Foundation care about this topic, TTIP? Because uh, a transatlantic partnership on trade could have uh, very interesting impacts on economic growth and uh, economic growth is a uh, very important discussion uh, in, this, in this time, both in the United States and in, uh, and in Europe. In a broader context, we want to study these global economic dynamics because um, uh, we know that there are trade flows, there are finance flows, there are good flows. But we do, what we do not know is what the changes of these, these flows might have of impact for the economy, for the society, for the well-being of ordinary people. So we want to understand these trends, we want to understand the effects in order to also to identify maybe what we can change for the better. What is the most interesting finding of the research for you? that uh, without any doubt it is that it would bring, bring growth in the US as well uh, as in Europe. So uh, if there is more opportunity for trade, both the US and Europe will benefit, will have better growth. The other finding that we see is that maybe there will be changes in the trade flows within Europe. Yeah. I can give you the example of the country, the U United Kingdom, England. There will be, if there is more trade opportunities uh, for the British producers, then they will sell more to the US and maybe less to the continent, or they would import more from the US. On the other hand, one would see also that um, to, to get such a result, they still have to be a part of Europe because UK on its own could never make such a deal. So what we see is there is the challenge for Europe to deal with maybe uh, shifts in trade flows within Europe, but on the other hand also to make it possible that Europe as a whole will be stronger and therefore gain in economic growth. So what advice would you give to the negotiating players? For the negotiating players, it is most important that they go as far as they can go. Because our study shows that if you have just the tariff barriers, then and not a deeper uh, transatlantic partnership, then the result will not be very very uh, impressive. So I would recommend to go as deep as they can go and I would connect it also with the current economic situation. We need growth but there is a discussion about growth versus austerity. Um, most impulses for growth would require capital impulses or less austerity for governments. Now here is a golden opportunity to make a political decision which does not cost any, uh, any government money. It is just about regulation and then let the markets work. So it is growth without costs. However, let's also look at the global and worldwide effects. What in your eyes will be the most important global challenge of TTIP? The global challenge will be to keep a uh, good peace with other countries, also with those who will have negative active, uh, effects in the short run. For example, if it is easier to buy some goods from Europe, then the US will not buy the same goods from Mexico. So Mexico will be among the countries 
who have initially a negative impact. Now the challenge is that the, the TTIP would be set up in a way that others could step in on the same terms so that the, the positive effects of a transatlantic partnerships could grow and, uh, and grow because others would step in. That is one challenge. The other challenge is also to make sure that the trade connections uh, with the, these other parts of the world, also Asia, also Africa, the developing countries, that these, uh, that these countries liberalize themselves, uh, their markets, so that, that through the opening of trade flows between the Western world and the other parts of the world, eventually everybody could benefit. And then, of course, the economy is not a zero-sum game. If there is a positive effect on the growth in Europe and in the US, then in the end, if we will earn more, we also can buy more. And maybe we will buy more also from Asia and from Africa. So the positive perspective of free trade should then also have uh, positive impacts of the world trade. And let's not forget about the challenge to complete the Doha round. It is, um, well, one could say it is not very likely nowadays that it will be completed very soon. But um, let's keep an eye open and hopefully the fact that it is possible to make such an agreement in this part of the world will also inspire other parts of the world to join. One last question, Mr. de Goyes. Will the Bertelsmann Foundation continue to address this issue of the transatlantic trade and investment partnership? Sure, and then we will also address the microeconomic effect because not only the macro is important, the question if it is good for a country or a continent as a whole, but also is it good for companies? It is good for certain, what are the effects to certain branches? Maybe they have to respond, maybe they have to adapt. We have to define these challenges. We have to see where it plays out well, where are the challenges? Secondly, we also uh, want to start an online discussion where individual people and experts could be in a dialogue to discuss uh, questions like uh, uh, intellectual property rights. How do, do certain proposals for regulations work out? So it is extremely important that this is, this is not just debated between the negotiators, but also between those who have to deal with it. And as a Berlusman Stiftung, we would provide the platform for such a debate. In the end, our goal is that there is a better trade, better growth, but also that it works out well for the people of our country so that we all can benefit from this new opportunity. Thank you very much for your time.